hi guys and welcome back to my channel this is like the 30th time i'm trying to make this video but today i'm finally doing it and let's just hop in and get it over with so kenyaji chicken you can find it in europe uh, it's called soup and flesh if you go to the frozen section you're gonna get it there or you can just ask around first i clean my chicken then i use some scissors to cut my pieces because i just find it easier like that and my scissors are sharper than my knife you're done cutting your chicken you can either place it in into a pressure cooker if you have one if you don't have one you can place it into a pot then you want to add in some water stir everything around and place it on top of your cooker and let that cook for 30 minutes until the chicken is soft next step is we're going to take ginger and garlic and mash that up together and just also add it into our chicken the ginger is going to soften up the meat and the, the garlic is just going to add a little bit of flavor to it we want to cover that up and go into our next step we have some oil you can either use avocado oil olive oil whatever you choose then we have some red onions which we just roughly chopped we have some tomatoes a bit of tomato paste salt turmeric powder some curry powder a chicken cube some green chili if you like some spice if not you can leave this out and some coriander we're now going to add our oil into our pan together with our onions and just let that cook till it's golden brown and we're also going to add in our salt once your onions have turned golden brown, we're going to go ahead and add in our tomatoes and just give that a good toss and let the tomatoes sweat out the juices. Now let's go ahead and grab our curry powder and throw that in there together with our turmeric powder and our tomato paste. Mind you, the chicken is still cooking and we are just making this stew now. So when the chicken is done, we'll just throw everything into the sauce. You want to stir that around and let your tomatoes cook until they're very soft. Once your tomatoes are very soft, you're going to grab your coriander and throw your coriander into the paste. So the paste is looking good. We're going to add our chicken stock cube and we're going to add in some water together with that. That looks amazing guys, as you can see, and it smells so nice. So we just want to stir that around, cover that and let that cook at medium heat for 10 to 15 minutes. Let's look into our chicken. You can go ahead and test your chicken and if you feel that your chicken is tender enough now it's ready to mix it into our sauce and if there's a little bit of water remaining on the chicken you can also add that into your chicken once you've mixed all your chicken together in the stew we're going to add one cup of water again depending on how you like it if you want it dry don't add any more water if you want it with a bit of sauce just add in a little bit of water and let it cook and there you go guys quick easy cook your kenyeji and it tastes amazing make some hot simmer and serve it like this guys please try the recipe let me know how you like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you on the next video